School and tennis, school and tennis 24-7. <laughs> when Gerardo Dominguez isn't practicing with College of the Desert men's tennis team, he's hitting the books. Getting his coursework done requires internet access. My primary source of internet is at home, but uh, I spent the majority of my days here at COD, so at the library here. COD's newly launched program aims to provide every student internet at home. According to the school's website, students who are interested in getting the service will simply need to apply. The program replaces Wi-Fi hotspots for students that were discontinued in December. It also helps close the state's digital divide. According to the 2020 American Community Survey by the U.S. Census Bureau, broadband access has been expanding steadily, but significant gaps persist, primarily in low-income households. Gerardo Dominguez has seen the need for internet access in his community. My freshman year here at COD, I spent some, the majority of my time at the library. And some of my friends and people I met um, had trouble um, accessing internet at their, at their home uh, due to lack of financial stability. Having the resource at home is something he doesn't take for granted. I think it's a struggle for, for some of the students uh, just because they have to leave their home and some um, are not able to drive. He and his teammate Joseph Kors think COD's new program will be life-changing for many of their peers. I think it's actually a great idea. Um, maybe not something I would have to personally use, but I think it could be a great opportunity for a lot of students for sure. In Palm Desert, Jennifer Franco, News Channel 3. You can get information on applying for the school's free home internet program if you're a student at KESQ.com. Now, first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Haley Clausen. Our skies have been nice and clear throughout today, and that's exactly how they're going to be staying through the night and into the start of the weekend. Saturday, let's go ahead and just duplicate what we were feeling out there today. But when we put our future track into motion, watch what changes as we head through Saturday and then into Sunday. You begin to see more cloud cover and even some showers making their way in from the west, staying west of us throughout Sunday as well. But what we're going to be feeling here in the desert is increasing wind speeds, especially as we head through the afternoon and we'll begin to see more of those clouds building over the mountains as we head through the afternoon into the evening as more rain and more snow moves into the picture and those snow levels begin to drop as we head through the night. Now a wind advisory has already been issued for the Coachella Valley and that does include the San Gregonio Pass. Of course, that's where the strongest wind gusts are going to be felt. So just a heads up if you do have any travel plans, this is in effect until early Monday morning. Though right now I'm looking at our strongest winds have happening early on in the afternoon. But this is going to be the main focus of this upcoming storm. Even though there is wind, even though there will be a couple drops of rain, we're really not looking at a lot of rain in the desert at all. Snow